let us look at chain rule. Uh, you, for instance, you can be given y is a function of u, and you are told that u is a function of x. In such a case, when you want to find dy over dx, the rule says that dy over dx will be given by du over dx. You multiply this with dy over du. In other words, this u will cancel and you'll go back to your initial position y, where dy over dx will simply be equal to dy over dx. Let's look at an example here. Let's look at an example. Let's look at an example. An example you can be given. If you are given that y equals to x plus 1 squared x plus 1 squared, then you are told find dy over dx. This means that you shall say, uh, you say that let u be equals to x plus 1. Therefore, y can also be written as u, already which we know this is our u, which is here, and you square this. This is simply y equals to u squared. To find the dy over dx, the rule says dy over dx, the rule says that you need to find du over dx, and we need to multiply this with dy over du. Already, we know what is our u. Our u is here. So what we need is to differentiate this to get dy, sorry, to get uh, du over dx, which we get as follows. When you differentiate x plus 1, what you remain with is 1. When you differentiate now to get dy, of which the numerator is usually what is in the beginning of the equation, and we have du in respect to du, this you take 2 multiplied by 1, we have 2, u, the power 2 minus 1 becomes power 1, which is simply 2u. From here, we can simplify further since we already know our u is x plus 1. u is x plus 1. This simply means we can write this dy over du as y, the u we know, x plus 1. Therefore, when you open the brackets, we have 2x plus 2. That's our dy over dx. We go back to replace this in our equation. To replace this, du over dx is 1. dy over du is 2x. You multiply this with 2x plus 2. Eventually, our answer is 2x plus 2. This is our dy over dx. We can prove this. We can do, we can prove. We can prove 1. We can prove 1 when we start by opening the brackets. When you are given y equals to x plus 1 squared, this is the same as saying y equals to x plus 1, x multiply again by x plus 1. When you open the bracket, you pick this x, x, we will take the whole of this, x plus 1, you pick again this, uh, which is plus 1, and you take the whole of this, x plus 1, we have here x squared plus x multiplied by 1 is x, 1 multiplied by x is x, 1 multiplied by 1 is plus 1. This gives you x squared plus 2x, which, which comes from here, plus 1. So our equation was y equals to x squared plus 2x plus 1. This is not different from writing it as follows. This is the same. This is the same. So now, we can differentiate this or differentiate this using chain rule. And since we have already differentiated this using chain rule, we want to confirm whether when you differentiate this, will give us the same answer. So we have dy over dx for this. This is 2. So you take 2 multiplied by 1. We have 2. x, power 2 minus 1, we remain with power 1, plus 1 multiplied by 2, we remain with 2. 
x becomes to power 0 and any, any number raised to power 0 remains to be 1. So that means our dy dx is given as 2x plus 1, which is the same as this, which you have gotten using chain rule. This is a proof that chain rule is correct, that this rule actually applies and we get the same answer. We can now still prove chain rule using, we can prove chain rule, uh, proof two, we can prove chain rule uh, using product rule. Already you are told, you are told that y equals to x plus one squared. And this is the same as x plus one multiplied by x plus one. In the product rule, we know that dy over dx is given by, if this is my u and I let this to be my v, it will be given by, you maintain u, you maintain u, you differentiate v in respect to x, then you add v itself, differentiate this time u in respect to x. I know my u is x plus 1, my v is x plus 1. So d v over dx is given by, when I differentiate the all of this in respect to x, I remain with 1. Because x is raised to power 1, then it will be x power 0, which becomes 1. When I differentiate du over dx, this x plus 1 in respect to x, I remain still with 1. So I can use this. I go back here, and I know my u. My u is, uh, my u is here, x plus 1. My dv over dx is 1. Then we have plus. Then I need to have my v again. My v is here, x plus 1. And my du over is 1. So here we have x plus 1. When you open the bracket, you remain with that. Then you have x plus 1. You open the bracket, you have x plus 1 plus x plus 1. This gives us, this x plus this gives us 2x. 1 plus 1 gives us 2. So this is the same as this is the same as this. That is a proof that our chain rule formula is actually correct. Now, not every equation you can simplify like this. Sometimes you can be given a number that is power, a high power, maybe for power 12, power 15, and that's the, that's the time chain rule be, will be of importance. For now, this since it was squared, we can easily simplify. But for those equations that are raised to a higher power, you just use the chain rule straight as it is. Let's do another example of, a, of chain rule. You can be given y equals to x plus maybe 3 into power 5. And you are told find a dy in respect to dx. So this is how you do it. We know our rule is here. We will say let u be x plus 3. Therefore, this implies that y can also be rewritten as, since this becomes u, since this becomes u, y can also be u to power 5. From here, we know our chain rule. We need to find du over dx. So we know to get dy over dx, we need to get du over dx and multiply this by dy over dx. Since we know our u here, we need to get du over dx, which when you differentiate this, you get 1. To get du, sorry, to get dy over dx, the y here, which is the numerator, is what determines which equation to use. So we shall use this equation starting with y. So we want to get dy over dx. When you differentiate this, 5 multiplied by 1, this becomes 5, u, this 5 minus 1, it becomes 4. Minus 1 becomes 4. To pick it up from here, we have dy over dx 
equals to, we know, we, want, we know what is our du over dx. du over dx is 1, so we put 1. We multiply this with the dy over dx, which is 5u4. 5u power 4. This becomes 1. Multiply by this, we have 5. U, we already know what is our U. Our U is X plus 3. So we write X plus 3 power 4. When you simplify, when you simplify this, you will get dy over dx equals to 5 multiplied by x, we have 5x, plus 5 multiplied by 3, we have 15, and then we have power 4. This becomes your answer. We can do another example here. We can do another example. We are told that given, given that y equals uh, 4x power 3 plus, plus 20 into power 10. Then you are told find dy over dx. To do this, we have the solution here. Remember, our rule is that dy over dx equals du dx dy du. We say let 4x cubed plus 20 be equals plus 20 be equals to u. And this implies that y can also be written as, since this has already become u, y can also be written as u power 10. From here, now what we need to get is du over dx. We need to differentiate the equation of u in respect to x. And our equation is here. So from this equation to get du in respect to x, we differentiate this. That means 3 multiplied by 4, that becomes 12. x 3 power 3 minus 1, that becomes x power 2. That the constant disappears. The constant disappears. From this, we can get dy over du. That means this 10 multiplied by 1, we get 10. u, 10 minus 1. This is same as 10 u power 9. Already we know what is our u. Our u is 4x cubed plus 20. So to simplify this further, it is 10 4x cubed plus 20 power 9. This becomes 10 multiplied by 4, it becomes 40. x cubed plus 10 multiplied by 20, it becomes 200. And you close this into power 9. This is my dy over du. Let us speak, go back to our rule here. We have dy over dx equals to du over dx multiplied by dy over du. I know what is my du over dx is 12x squared. So this is 12x squared. I multiply this with my equation here dy over du, which is 40x cubed plus 200 in bracket power 9. When you simplify further, we have 12 multiplied by this. Uh, 12 multiplied by 4, you get 480. x 2 plus 3, you get x power 5. Then you take 12 multiplied by 200 plus 2400 x to power 2 and then you close your bracket power 9. This is your dy over dx.